guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to episode one of 100. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you this right now. Um, with this series and with the other series that I literally just finished, but for you guys, it'll come out on um, Tuesday. Skip the first 11 seconds of um, the uh, logos, which is the TV Tokyo logo, if you are watching this on GoGo. If you have the series on like Blu-ray, DVD, just start wherever where the episode starts because that's how I'm going to start it. Um, as I said for the other one, because I know a lot of people are going to be like, where the fuck is she? I can't find out where the hell she is. So just know, there you go. It's there. So that just in case anyone's still wondering where the fuck I started at, just go right there. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one. One, go. So, I can already tell that this is going to be hella different than Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash. I don't think this is an Isekai. <laughs> I was about to say Godzilla, but no. <laughs> um... No, he's gonna kill the girl. He's gonna crush her. That's a little fucked up. Not, not even a little. That's very fucked up. And, oh my god, another person who doesn't remember short things. My god, you got Haru, who don't remember what a phone is. Now you don't remember who the girl is? <laughs> this seems like a military anime, and I'm all for it. Like, definitely dead ass. Like, I, you know what? I mean, me, like... I, I, you know, cause kinda, I've been looking for an anime that's kind of military esque, you know, just fine. But it seems interesting. Like, how old is this? Like, mm -hmm. give me my phone. I'm gonna let this shit up before the freaking episode like officially starts. Isn't that the girl? Okay, hold on. Quick question. It's gonna be like Shivery of a Failed Night where these two are lovers and they're gonna fall in love and shit. This is gonna be my new Icky and Stella. Because <laughs> if it is, good job. <laughs> is this also fan service? Because I, I have that feeling. It is an action mecha harm. Yes. So basically, it is etchy a little bit. Okay, I'm for that too. Because literally my boyfriend still wants me to, no, my boyfriend and a couple of other people want me to watch um, High School DxD. I kind of really want to watch that on my own. Because <laughs> if I watch that as a reaction, I, I, <laughs> I just, you know, <laughs> I, I I couldn't stop laughing. That's the thing. I would just be fucking laughing in the entire episode because it's just like, mm, look at my boobs. <laughs> look at my boobs. Look at my butt. Just look it. <laughs> are, are they looking for you? This could also be like that one show with freaking Sarami in it. It's like that 
irregular of like magic high or something like that. Where the girl, like Sarami's voice actress, she's like literally in love with her like freaking brother. <laughs> Like, honestly, like, when you look at Hayato, he literally kind of, kind of looks like Iki. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like that's the girl who, like, supposedly died from his past, which it could be. I swear to God, if I'm right, do not fucking tell me. This ain't Attack on Titan, okay? This is a, this ain't My Hero Academia either. So don't tell me. Which I already know about My Hero Academia. No puppy. She's pretty. She looks like she might be a Cinderella. Mm. The two who are late. They were the ones looking for him, right? Well, <laughs> are you fucking kidding me? Wait, uh, I, I mean, could, could you not speak against her? She might do the same thing to you. Cody, I ain't calling you. Go eat. It's a little unfair. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the only time I'm picking you up, dog. What oh, damn. I mean, but Claire gotta be a bitch. Just shut up. Shut up. Mm -mm. Shut up. That's not fair,
Y'all gonna fight, aren't y'all? Good <sighs> luck. You know, your main character, you're going to be OP as fuck, so might as well start now, you know? It's a lolly. <laughs> and you are? Thank you. <laughs> okay, so name me a char. No, that shouldn't be insulting. Okay, now literally listening to Shar a little bit more, she sounds like Tanya. I wouldn't be surprised if that's her. Okay, so this is kind of like, oh my god, what's that one fucking show that I watched? Um, <laughs> Hina Logic from Luck and Logic in a way? Yes, that's the name of the show. Oh my god, mm -hmm, yeah, that show. It's kind of like this in a way, but... Mm -hmm. No, Luck and Logic. Mm -hmm. Luck and logic from something. I don't remember. God damn it. It's been a while since, you know, all my other videos from my old channel are gone. So you think I'm going to remember every fucking show that I watched? <laughs> no, Hina Logic from Luck and Logic. I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it later. Except it's not magical girl or magical boy, it's just mecha ish and just. Mm. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I thought that was a girl. See? This an overlord. Y'all fucking with me with me damn shows.
Everybody in the comments like, hey, it took her how long to figure out? Was this also dubbed too? Because Grimgar was dubbed. Was this dubbed though? But you have a girly voice. Oh my god. See. <laughs> you gotta love the fact that anime will trick you about characters. Depending on what sex they are. You're like, oh, look, that's a girl. And then so many minutes later, oh, no, it's a boy. <laughs> This is why I have trust issues. But it's pretty. It literally looks like fucking wings. So, yeah. You gotta really train, like, hard as hell. <laughs> hmm. You know, I gotta say, just the music for this is really nice. Like, mmm. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Claire is going to possibly kick your ass tomorrow, so you just need to be ready for anything. <laughs> You know, honestly, what she just said sound oh no, what he just said sounded so wrong. My journey mind right now. Are we even gonna see the duel? We only have like okay, we got six minutes left, so yeah, I think we will. Okay, was your sister the girl in the freaking first part of this episode? Like, who the f <laughs> I mean, like, I mean, are you secretly, did you have your sex change? Because I have a feeling you had your sex change. No, I don't think Cotton's going to forgive you that easily. Does she want you to kiss her? <laughs> well, he got into trouble. Yeah. <laughs> you share a room, of course. Of course. Oh my god, it's so fucking obvious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
I literally thought you would have said, I'm not a guy. <laughs> Because your roommates. <laughs> yeah. I mean, damn, you just had PTSD just from a brick of blood. Hold on, Cody. I'm almost done, baby. I still got, like, three other shows to watch. I still gotta watch Overlord and Pretty Cure and Aikatsu. And then after that, if I have time, um, that one extra show from Patreon that I can't talk about right now. Well, you know what? I gotta say one thing. Thank God it's not 3D. Because if they would have did this with CGI, I, I probably would have had a little bit of problem with it. I mean, there's good CGI and there's bad CGI. Overlord is now in the good CGI territory until I get to, what, season three? Since a lot of people have told me the CGI goes down it. <laughs> Are they literally going to count down to 10 seconds? Y'all going to just wait. Why would you do that? What is wrong with you? Come on, damn it. See, no. No, 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 no. See, this is like freaking Sorrow Online season one all over again. Waiting for what's his face? Hey, Katie Tona, finally fucking fight. And then, like, the episode before, and I was like, okay, come on, let's go, let's do it, let's do it. And they're like, no, you're gonna wait until the next fucking episode. And we're like, god damn it, Netflix, like, mm, just click to the damn next episode. But, I, I you know, I gotta say, I, I do like this show. It's interesting. It's different as well. So, I, I have questions. You a boy? Are you a girl? You look like a girl right there. So you have to be a girl. Is she? He, she, whoever is like, are you going to tell Hayato? Oh, hey, I'm a girl. It's just, I'm very flat chested. So you can't tell that I have boobs. I'm not like other girls out here with huge, massive boobs. <laughs> like, honestly. Or, you know, sex change? Like, because I honestly think that could be it. That, um, because, like, when Sarah was trying to say, like, her other name, it, you know, she it stretched her mouth so that she wouldn't finish the sentence. So, hello? I got questions. I'm so confused. <laughs> like, how we're confused. I, I'm just like, so she, he, she, whoever, I mean, you a boy, you a girl, like, let me, can we just answer that question, but you know what, I think I'm gonna look, when I, when I go back and look at, um, the freaking wiki for this, I'll, I'll look, and I'll get my answer, so then I finally know, and then I'll be like, oh, I found out she's a boy, or he's she, <laughs> something like that, we'll find out in a few, but it is, it's really good. It kind of reminds, like I said, of Kinalogy from Luck and Logi. I think it's that show or Luck and Logi something. I don't remember the name of it specifically, or I do, and I'm just jumbling my freaking titles of it and shit. But not specifically um, Hinalogy. I think it's just Luck and Logic reminds me more about, which I've never really seen. I've seen, like, bits and pieces of the show. Um... 
at the time, I think when it did come out, it just really didn't interest me. And then when Luck and Logi came out, I was like, oh, this interests me because it looks, it's freaking magical girl-ish and stuff. And then when everybody was like, you know, this is just a, like, spinoff slash sequel of this show, right? And I was like, oh. That was that show that I watched, like, one episode of, and it just didn't interest me after that. But, yeah, I, I think the characters in the series are very interesting. Like I said, it does give me a lot of feels towards um, Chivalry of a Failed Night because of the fact is it is set placed into a school. You know, I mean, he's not starting. He's technically, a, a, like, I would say right now he's, like, 50% Iki. I mean, he ain't starting, like, possibly at the same level as Iki. I mean, think about it. Like, how, like, it took the last freaking episode for Iki to go against the student council president. And we about to go on episode two. And Hayato's already going against the student council president. So, um, character development. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, I really don't know. I mean, but I, I feel like, hmm. Mm, yeah, no, no, what else is it remind me of? Like, it, okay, if Luck and Logic, uh, Chivalry of a Failed Night, Kill a Kill, <laughs> and a whole bunch of other animes, that one anime with the, like, the, um, ships are girls, and I've never seen that show before, all had a baby together. This is the show! <laughs> This is exactly what it is, but it's really good, like, dead eyes, like, honestly. I mean, for both people, because we're not on my third Patreon show, because I still have to watch that, and I'm watching that tomorrow, but by the time y'all see this, it'll be Friday. Um, see that, it'll be Friday, so when you guys see this on Saturday, you already see the Friday show. Um, I gotta say, like, for the two that I've now watched, like, this and the other two are very neck and neck and really, really good. And I won't know about the other show until tomorrow, but, like, this is, this is really interesting. I got a lot of questions about this. But it's just, I feel like Emiru is the girl from his past. It's just maybe, like, they, he just needs to remember, this is some freaking darling in the front <laughs> bullshit where, you know, finally, he remembers, and then he's gonna be like, you were the girl, you know, from such long ago, weren't you? And she's gonna turn around, and she's gonna start crying, I'm gonna start crying, and be like, mm, remember that episode, darling guys? Yes, it's gonna be coming in this episode <laughs> fucking series. I don't know, but there, there's gonna be a moment where they're just gonna, he's instantly gonna remember her and then he's gonna be like yeah you were the girl who looked like she died but then not really because she literally looks like the damn girl how do you explain that to me like what the fuck um but yeah very very interesting show so okay this show after now watching the other show is officially going to be coming on thursdays it's just, I think I'm going to have it come out either before or after Carol on Tuesday, preferably probably after Carol on Tuesday. I mean, no, before Carol on Tuesday. Like, scratch that. <laughs> but other than that, guys, that is my reaction to your episode 1 of 100. If you guys enjoyed it, Cody, shut up! Um, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for everyone else, and then on Saturday for the Patreon people for episode two. Bye, guys!